Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Plane Mechanic Simulator. We will carry on right where we left off last time. During the flight today, I noticed quite a large loss of power in the left engine. Make sure it's, make sure it's fixed by tomorrow. Refuel, load, fix. Easy. Absolutely easy. Right. Back over. Refuel again. Uh, there. So, this one. Now, we could... This is going to be 45 points. Right? We've got three things to do. Which is 15 points. Plus our uh, 30 points for finishing, which is 45. If we're fortunate enough to have a part to repair, that could be an additional five points. We may get two parts, but I'd say that would be incredibly unlikely. Uh, so we could be looking at 45 points from this one, possibly 50 points. Which means that we want one more job after this, and then we will get to the, the maximum level. And I get the feeling that it would kind of build up towards that, and then that would be like the, the last bit for us to do. So, yeah, once we get there... Um, because we're well over, I, I occasionally uh, drop out to the main menu and I go and check on it. And we were 94% complete on the game. So I suspect that once we get the points to make the final grade, that's going to be where the game completes. So even though we've had a few jobs where we haven't made all the points, I reckon that it's just kind of extra missions now until you get to that point. And then it will be um, all complete and there won't be any more. Task completed. Refuel the aircraft. Scramble back up. Take that one out and put you away. So now I will go back up here and start closing all of these up. Like that. Bring you back over and close that one. Bring you back over and close that one. And then we'll do the same over here. Then we'll whip down underneath and we'll go and do the bombs. And then we've done that, we can work on the left engine. So just put that one onto there. And then we've got left wing outer fuel door under there. So I've got that bit there. Oh, hang on, no, I need to go number one first to open the bomb doors. Then put the bombs in. Like that. And you. And then that one. And close that door. And then that one. And close that door as well. Right, so there's that one done. Then I can come over to here and I've got this bit here to do. I'm going to take off these covers and we've got a loss of power on the left engine. Now, a loss of power suggests that there's a potential fuel issue, except I don't think that there's a fuel filter on this side. Is there? Is there a fuel filter in here? I don't know. It's definitely a, that. Well, quite sure. Lost power on this engine. So there's something's not quite right on this engine. We know that much. Um, and that all the way around there like that, very quickly. And then we take off the top cowling as well. All of this stuff off. Right now we go and ah, uh, it's in there. Right. There's nothing else back there, but that bit there. The supercharger has damaged. So we've got to take that supercharger off, which means that we've got to take off a load of this assembly stuff up here. Uh, there, I can take that one off. Zoom in a little bit. Like that, and... Wait, I'll go ignition wires... Through there, and then a couple more bits down there. Right. Oh, I gotta, I gotta take off all of that bit in there. Oops. I don't need to take off that on the outside, but I do need to take off this in here. So we go into there. I take off that hydraulic pump right there, and I take that one off, and then I want to take that one off there, like that. And this one over here, that one's got to come off. And then 
As soon as this one here moves out the way, we can take off this left induction manifold. And then once that one's... Yeah, I do have to take off the left induction manifold. Oops. I need to do that. There. Right. Then I can go with that one down through there like that. There is a lot of bits and pieces that have got to come off of there. Okay, let's have a look what else needs to come off. It's just that up there. I'm zooming out a bit. I don't see any other bits that have actually got to come off. I think it's just that bit there. Um, and then the induction pipe in here. That's, that's the bit that's got to come off. Then the supercharger. So I'll undo that one there because that one comes out and then you've got another bolt on there that you've got to undo. And then we come down here and we undo that circle all the way around there. And that bad boy lifts out. Right. That's that bit done. Now, can I go and fix this bad boy or have I got to replace it? You can let me fix it. Yes, excellent. We can fix the supercharger. Right. Well, the great thing about being able to fix this one is it's going to get us an extra five points. And those extra points do make a difference. So there, we've actually fixed it because you've got to get three out of four. But we got four out of four parts done on there. So then we can come back over here. We go to option number two and we put said supercharger back in there. So I'll do that one up there, and then I'll do the other little one there, so I don't forget. And task completed. Oh, ideal. Right. Induction pipe goes in there. We can put the hydraulic thing back on there, like that. And I can put the air compressor back in on there. And then I can put the induction manifold all the way up through here, like this. There. Do all that up. There we go. And then I'll put that one on that side. Goodness gravy me. There is a lot of screws on here that we've got to put in. Right. There's that bit. Coolant pipe up there. Put that one in. Coolant pipe up there. Put that one in. Like that. Induction wires there. Draw them up and those two. Wait for the clicks. Get a load of clicks in a minute. Those will do up. There, all click down through. Right, so there's everything has now gone back in where it should. So we can now put the engine cowling back on. It's difficult to see this sometimes. There, that can go back onto there. And then we put that one on. If I hide under the wing ever so slightly, I can... Is that up through there? And then I can do that. Like that. Right. Oops. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm working from inside the bomb bay now. Which... <laughs> well... Wasn't quite what I was supposed to be doing. Still, if it works, it works. Whatever works. I mean, if it, if it was hoofing it down with rain, it seems like it might have been a good idea. And that should be that job done. So we should... Yep, we've got all of that. It's saying that it's done. I'm hoping. Refuel the aircraft, five points. Load it with bombs, five points. Fix the left engine, five points. Save the spare part, one. There's another five. Not all parts. Wait, what? Oh no! I I lost ten points. I'm seriously tempted to restart that. I lost ten points, and then good job. It gave me ten uh, ten points. So I, I I essentially I lost thirty points on that job. Induction manifold. Induction manifold. Where did I leave that bit off? Which is the induction manifold? Oh, it's one of the bits up on the top. On top of the engine, isn't it? I don't know, but either way, I'm very disappointed with myself. It's got to be said. Right, uh, the oil in the left engine starter to drop extremely fast. Refill it and find a source of the problem. 
Refuel, refill with oil, load with bombs, fix the problem with the oil pressure. Right, back on the old fueling job again. Let's get that one out of the way. There we go, take the ladder. Run over here. Back up a bit. There we go, climb the ladder. Left wing. Yeah, like that, and off we go. Undo you. Right, refueling the, uh, refilling the oil shouldn't be too bad. I mean, it, we're going to have to refill the oil on both sides, because, um, just because uh, we're going to need to, which, that's a little, the time-consuming bit about that is wheeling that thing, can, oh, that, that thing over there. It's, that's, that's not the, the, the most exciting of, of tasks to do. So how much fuel? We, we're about two-thirds of the tank on this particular little run. Don't take too long, I suppose. There we go. There's that one. Then we come back up. We take the hose. We run back down. We put the hose up there. We go over to the ladder. We move it over to this side. Uh, there, like that. So... We could very well have another part that we've got to repair, which would be good. As long as I remember to put everything back together this time. Induction manifold. That's a bit up the top, isn't it? I didn't put all of the induction manifold back together, even though it said that I'd done it. Right, it definitely said that I'd done it. It, it had all the, the right stuff on there. But it, it also claimed that I didn't do the job properly. And I'm very put out by this. I, I, I feel that I did do a good job. I feel that, you know, I was pat on the back worthy. And yet it's telling me that I was not. I, I feel... I feel cheated. I do. I feel absolutely cheated by this. I lost 30 points on there. I was hoping to, like, do really, really well on this. And... Oh, no. Let's go and get the... The hose up there. Scramble back up. Put you in. Run over this way. And load it up again. Wait for the fuel to fill up. Another 70 gallons going in here. I'm curious to know just how many gallons of petrol we have put... Uh, eight, okay, 82 gallons. Um, how many gallons of petrol we have put into this aircraft in total? Because we have... Well, not just this one. All... All fuel in total. I'd like to know, like, a running total of all fuel that has been put into the aircraft. I think that would be a very, a very, very awesome thing to find out. All right, let's go and grab that one up there and then climb up. There we go. And... Right. Now we can go and do this bit. Yeah. Task completed. Refuel the aircraft. That's what I was Scramble back up there, and then back over here, then back up there, and we'll start putting all of this back together. And then we'll go around and we'll do the oil next. So why am I waiting for that to do up? I don't want to do it like that. Alright, well, we'll do this a little bit differently. We'll go like that, and we'll go like that, and we'll go like that, and then we'll go back over here, and we'll do that one and then we'll do that one and then we'll do that one over there right okay so it said that we've got this issue didn't it so we're going to want to move this one out of the way that one goes over there then we go to option number one and i need to just spin round under like this now i said the left engine where there was a problem with the left engine it wasn't there i need to just bring this up a minute. Okay. Oil cap. Now, I'll take that one off. Uh, number three. That one's in pristine condition. So, I want to go over here. That one is also in pristine condition. So, it's not the oil filter. Which is interesting to note. Uh, not Yeah, not the oil filter. That's not been the cause of the issue. So, we've, we, we want to refill this one with oil anyway. So if I pick you up, and I run over here, and very slowly, very slowly, 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 bring this one all the way round over to there, and a bit more. Right, set you down there. I come over to this side. I pick that one up, and then we press Z to go prone. 
bring that up there, put that one, and then we come out of here, and we press Z again to go unprone, Bowser uh, controls space, and we start pumping in loads and loads and loads of oil. Task completed, refill the oil. So we don't actually need to go and do anything to the oil on the other side. This surprises me. So it's only this side. There's been a leak here somewhere with the oil that we've got to deal with. Let me come out of here. There we go. We're unprone ourselves. And we put that one in. So I need I do need to go and put the, the both the fuel caps back on. The oil caps rather. Um me under there. There, I put that one on. And then I come round this way. I put that one back on. There. Okay, there's the two oil caps have gone back on. So, oh, load with bombs. There's another easy job to do. We go down into here and Open the two doors like that. Number two, we put these on like this. More bombs. Same down this side. And that one. Right, there's another job done. And then I got to find. So, fix the problem with the oil pressure. Uh, is it something to do with. Maybe something to do with the radiator up here? Let's go to number three a minute. Right, it's nothing to do with the oil radiator. So there's going to be something inside here that is... That's the exhaust shroud. Engine cowling. Like that. And then I come out onto this side over here. Like that, and... run all the way through there right uh, and yeah we'll, we'll also take it we'll just whip the top bit off very quickly like that oops up there there we go like that excellent now so what bit the upper cylinder block there induction pipe um supercharger let me do that Right, I go up onto that one. Left induction, so it was the it, the manifold. It was one of those. It, there was a screw on one of the um, induction manifolds that I didn't do up properly last time. That was the issue. Anyway, uh, it, it doesn't really matter at the moment. We are we lost power on the end. Ah, look, oil control valve. Now we got anything else on here? Where's the? Oh, the oil filters are inside the other bit. Engine starter isn't going to be that. The, the, the rest of it seems to be pristine. I think it's probably just likely to be that one in there. Um, we'll take that little, little tiny dinky little piece off there. And we'll come over to here. Uh, part maintenance space. Oil control valve. We can repair this one, which is absolutely fantastic. Let's put you onto there. And I go to there like that. And then I go to there like that. And then... I go to that one like that. Perfect. Right. Part fully restored. Now I can go back over here and put that part back in. And I'm hoping that that one... It is indeed everything that we needed to do. So we can put the top engine cowling back on. And this is going to get us... Uh, actually, this is going to be 50, 55 points for this one. 55 points is not to be sniffed at. There's going to be one more job that we really that we want to do to be able to finish this uh, to, to get like that that last little bit. The last in, all important part for completion. Drop that through there. Like that and There we go. Right. I think that's everything that I want to do. I know I've left the oil over there. But let's see. It, it, it's going to let me go. Have I done enough? 
Refuel, yes, five points. Refill the oil, five points. Load the bombs, five points. Fix the problem with the oil pressure, five points. Save spare parts, one. Final result, perfect job, fantastic. 30 points, that takes us all the way up. We got 26 to go. Uh, one good job is all we need. It's a big day today. The commands want to reveal the aircraft to the public, and they've chosen... Gestapo, Gestapo HQ at Oslo for the first target. They also want this to be a flawless show, so they're not saving on resources. Refill all fluids, take both engines apart and replace anything that isn't in pristine conditions. The aircraft's already been repainted for the photographs. So we've got to refuel the aircraft, refill the oil, refill the coolant, load the aircraft with bombs, restore the aircraft to pristine conditions. Pristine. Okay, so basically, we now ha actually have to do a complete and full strip down of the entire aircraft. It's not just the um, the bombs. We we we've got to do a pristine condition on absolutely everything. Uh, this is probably going to be the most time-consuming job that we've yet done. Let me scramble back up to there. So let's go with the, the small jobs first. And we'll run along and we'll do that like that. Uh, it said restore to pristine condition. So, like, if I go to number three here, that one's in pristine condition. Oh, I see, you can mouse over with the, the check thing, and you can see it like that. That's pretty cool, actually. I like that. Uh, right, so we've, we've got that bit there, and then I also want to come down here, and I want to open the coolant access door right there. And then I want to go up this way and open the oil cap, like that. Open that oil cap, like that. Uh, up over here, and then I want to open the coolant access door over there. Right. I know that I'm actually going to be stripping the whole aircraft apart in order to be able to do this job properly, but getting that bit done seems like a good idea. So we'll put that into there and we'll have a look. Yeah, see, we've got quite a bit of fuel that we're going to have to put in. So we'll start running that one up there. And you're done. At least I'm assuming that's close enough. Bring that back. Drop that up. Uh, oh, wait a minute. No, we're, we're up on this side, so we want to do the coolant on this one as well. You go and grab a can of that. We run back over here. Scramble up like that. Pour in the coolant, and there should just be the one can. The, the one great thing about this aircraft is it doesn't actually use that much coolant. Even when the system is just about empty, it still doesn't seem to be using that much coolant, which... I'm going to take that as a positive. So we'll dump that one over there. And then we'll grab this ladder and bring that back under here. Back a bit. There we go. And then get you. And dump that one into there. Over. Keep refilling. That's the two central tanks loaded up. Let's come out of there. Then we can... Run over and grab a bit of coolant. Grab that can right there. And scramble back up the ladder. Pour coolant into here. I wonder if I can take the coolant and the hose down at the same time. Not actually sure about that. It'd be worth finding out. But anyway, we've got one job complete. Ooh, I can. I can take two at once. This is fantastic. So I can put that one away. And then I can run over there. So as efficiency, that is. I'm efficient use of my ladder, that is. And then I bring my ladder down over there. And I grab the last one for the hose. We put that one up. Then we go back into here and we turn that one on. So that should be the fuel. Monoki thingy, majiggy, come up through. Wait. Uh... I think I didn't fill the front with... I think I didn't fill the first one up enough. That's what I think has happened. Let's grab you. It didn't actually come up with the thing. 
Because I stopped this one a little bit early, I think. Didn't I? A little bit ahead of myself, and I, I stopped it just a tiny, tiny... Fr it's not going to be much. But I reckon that's what's done it. No. All right, let's go to number three. Uh, right, that one's full. That one's full. That one, well, it looks full there. Anyway, it, it certainly looks full. And that looks full as well. What's the problem here? Use a large door. That's pristine. Oil there. Fuel tank. Oil. Coolant. Okay, I'm genuinely confused by... Maybe the middle one is not done properly. Maybe that middle one is, is not quite enough to have it as a completed job. It may be. Um, you, know, you know what I think it might be? Ref refuel. Yeah, refuel is not done. You know what I think it might be? I think it might be not this one here. Right? Right, if I go number three there and look at that, that one is actually full. Right? If I take you I run you back down, I reckon it might be this one over here. Because of me, the way that I did the space bar on this one. Like, I... Yeah. Right, I'll take that one there and then I'll run up the ladder on here. Put that one in. That should be done. Go to you. There. Right, I'm not quite sure why. I suspect that it's because I picked the hose up while I was holding the can of coolant. That's my theory on that one. It was because I was holding the can of coolant when I picked it up. And I reckon that may have interfered with it. So yes, the can of coolant thing did work, but I don't think it worked properly. I think that did cause us a slight, slight problem. Uh, both lots of coolant are done. The fuel is done. So we've just got to do the oil. We've got to drag this Bowser around and uh, drop that one there. Actually, bring it back a little bit further. There we go. And then I can grab that one. And then I can go prone over here. Put that one up into there. Uh, right. Bowser controls. Load this one up with oil right here. Then we can run the Bowser over to the next fuel tank, uh, oil tank, and we can load that one. While I'm just picking out the uh, the hose from this one, there, that's that bit done. Uh, while I'm picking out this hose, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to check that f uh, oil filter under there. That one needs changing. Right, well, we'll do that. I'll take that oil filter out. Like that, and then we'll take that one out. We got to remember to, oops, right, put you away. Uh, no, we'll, we, we'll put the the cap back on. We'll do that when we do the other caps. Now I just got to wheel this one all the way around over here. I can do that. Actually, I can just keep this one going all the way around here. I'm really sorry, folks, but I'm afraid I'm going to have to interrupt things there as it's time for us to head back to the barracks and get some tea. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.